So where are you at with your training camp at the moment? It's bringing it down now. There's no more sparring or anything. It's just more maintaining your fitness now and more about the weight loss rather than technique and stuff. You know, any of the any of the hard work and any of the techniques that you're going to learn, it, it was it's done easy by now. So yeah, just more so maintain fitness and uh, keep losing weight. So my weight's lowest it's been I've ever walked around that since I was 20 years old. So I'm just excited now, just excited more than anything to go in and show everybody what I can do. So final night Saturday, what does the next couple of days look like for you? Hopefully the numbers are coming down every day on the scales and it's once I get over there, they've sent me the itinerary, which is, you know, bits of media to do and other stuff. And apart from that, I'm just looking forward to seeing Prague and, you know, meeting, meeting the fans in Prague and socialising with people. So you've obviously come from Cage Warriors to the UFC. How have you found that transition? With the UFC, start and fight week, you get an itinerary, there's, um, there's stuff you need to do, media stuff, filming, all through the week. So, um, Going into it, you know, the first time I'd made 66 since I was 21 years old. I thought I was really going to struggle with the adjustment, and obviously it's the big stage, isn't it? Um, in terms of walking out, there was a lot of ring rust and nerves, and you know, vice versa. But I know what to expect now. I, I know, I, I know how many people I'm walking out to. I know what the week is, the routine that goes through. So uh, you'll see a lot better performance out of me this time than last time. I mean, obviously, yeah, that walk out in front of that many fans, you've got the kind of potential 50,000 fight bonus on the line. How does that kind of change your preparation? Well, you know, I, we had a game plan last time and I, I heard my entrance music walk out and I started walking out and I seen everybody screaming. Yeah, I, I, I went crazy, really, and I went in there with um, one of the best in the world, um, striking, and I, rather than them black belts on the ground, and I just thought, you know what, I'm coming for that 50 grand. And uh, I struck with them, struck with them. And I, I think I was out striking them until I got caught. But this time, you know, there's, there's no beating around the bush. If the bonus comes, it comes. But I'm not looking for it. I'm more so looking to just go out and um, get over and done with quick, finish it quick. You know, we don't get paid by the minute. So, yeah, in and out, fingers crossed. So you fought Calvin Qatar at UFC Monks in, in October. What were kind of your reflections from that fight and what have you learned from it? You know, I know my striking's always there. I've proved my striking there if I need to be there. But, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and out of 20, out of uh, 18 wins, I think must be 15 or 14 have come by submission or 12 by submission, two by TKO, but all on the ground. So, um, stick, to what, stick to what I'm good at. If, if I can't get them down, then, you know, I'll, I'll happily knock them out. So for some of those fans in the UK that may not have seen uh, you on Cage Warriors, how would you kind of describe yourself? I don't, I don't wait. I don't beat, beat around the bush. Um, as soon as that bell goes, I'll be in your face and I'll be swinging. Um, from what I've heard, you know, through social media and what people have told me, um, they say I'm an exciting fighter, and I, I, I know myself. I'm a finisher. I'm always looking for a finish. Um, it's cost me fights and Jiu two comps and it's won me them, so you know. Um, that that's my style though. I'm not, I've never changed that. I'm not I'm not gonna pace myself. I'm hundred miles an hour in your face. So Daniel Tamer in Prague, what do you make of him as an opponent? Um he's good, yeah, I know I know he, he's he's more of a tie boxer and kickboxer. He's got thirty five wins and two losses in tie boxing and K one. MMA he's got six wins and two losses. He was six and oh before he went to the UFC. And then he lost us two in the UFC, so I think um, if he loses this one, there's a good chance he's got, he, he'll be cut. So I've, I've trained for the best team or that there is. I've trained for with black belt level guys on the ground. I've trained with um, undefeated pros in kickboxing. I've I've really um, I've, I've pushed everything to the limit. I've been I'm the best Chris Fish Gold you can be. You, you obviously uh, came in as the underdog for your uh, UFC debut. Uh, in terms of the odds market. Um, against this fight, it seemed a bit more of an even match against Daniel. In my head, even with Cattle, that's why I was, I, I, you know, you never take a loss, loss easy. Um, I'm so disappointed in myself because I, I know I can beat anybody in the division. I honestly know, and I know for a fact, deep down in my heart, I'm going to be a champion. You know, I'm 26 years old, and I, you know, I've seen, I seen Cattle rocked. And I, I went for the kill, and Joe just getting caught like that. Um, 
they might have us down as sort of evenly matched, but I think I'm definitely a favourite in this. And um, like I said, I'm a, I see myself as a favourite in any fight I go into because I know what I'm capable of. But I know, I know what to expect a bit more with um, with Timo. Kata was a lot more experienced, so we'll see how it is on Saturday night. Give it a round, round to be safe. If it's not over within a round, I'll be really disappointed in myself. If he lasts longer than three minutes, if he lasts the round, he's having a really lucky night. Liverpool is emerging as a real hotbed for upcoming British talent. How proud are you to be part of that and kind of what does it mean to you? You know, it's it's like it's like no 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 other place in the world in my in my opinion. You know, I've travelled around the world, I've fought in different countries and that and although you know, I like the travel and that. There's not like your own city. This this is my home, this is what I call home and you know, we were like one big family. It's you know, the the way people are, it's always happy faces. What what does twenty nineteen hold to Chris Fish? I wanna be in the top ten by the end of twenty nineteen, let's put it that way um, I'll see how active they let me, you know, let me be. Um, if it's up to me, I'd fight every week. But you know, I know that's not always the case. But ho hopefully, um, 2019 undefeated in the year, and um, yeah, making ways, making names for myself. A few bonuses wouldn't go amiss either. <laughs> I know you don't want to look past Daniel, but is there anyone in that division you'd, you'd like to potentially fight? I've grew up, you know, watching Jose Aldo and watching Chad Mendes and all that from when I was a young boy. Um, loads of people were coming through and now I'd love to fight any of them to be fair not just for the aspect of yet yeah, the great fighters and that means that's going to excel me to the top but just the fact that the, the, my idols growing up you know how cool would that be to look back and um, when I'm an old man and say yeah I, I fought them they you know what I mean it's um, but yeah anybody that's going to excel me 